Like I don't, I don't have me time. Like I don't have me time. Factor, today's sponsor. I wish. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another uh, vlog. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, child, but. I'm just trying to vlog every day. So welcome back to another vlog. <clears throat> I, it's Monday morning. And Monday is Monday. It's 7.20. And me, I don't know what you want to call it. Or what they call ADD, ADHD, whatever you want to. You know what? I'm about to order me another tripod right now. Right now. Because every single time I turn this camera on, I complain about it. And I know y'all sick of hearing it. And I'm sick of talking about it. Tripod for camera. Um, I need to. Uh, I didn't want like a really big one. This one. So I'll take it off real quick to show y'all. This is the one that I have. I just think this camera is heavy, and it's really more so of a. Uh, this is the tripod that I have for this camera. So it 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 it's adjustable where you can make it low, or you can make it high, um, but. If, I just think this camera is just heavy. Plus, with my extra lens on it, it's heavy, and I don't think this was really truly built for this type of camera. So, I am going to find. I don't want. I really don't want to order the same one, but I like how this one is. But let's be real. I don't take this camera outside the house other than in my patio, so I probably could just get away with another tripod. Um, Oh, this one's only twenty dollars. Uh, is it this one? You ready, girlfriend? Yeah. The queen. Huh? The queen. Who the queen? You the queen? The, the spray in my mouth. Oh, whipped cream. What you said? Thought you said. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna find another tripod. Just I can't do it right now. Cause I want. I don't want to just buy one on the whim. I'm here to, to tell you guys. Good morning. I ordered me a new Mommy, wig. Is this one? Yes. I ordered me a new wig because even though I said last vlog I wasn't uh shame face. I said I wasn't gonna order a new wig because I don't wear wigs like that and I feel like I'll be spending Mama. money and you know I need to uh no more. She likes to put whipped cream in her mouth. And it ain't my whipped cream. It's my cold foam so I used to put in her mouth. Spoil face. Um, go wash your face. Let me find this really quick. Um, I saved it on my thing. Y'all, these ribs are so good. They're in the oven. It takes about two and a half hours to cook. So I'm going to come home really quickly. Oh, y'all, even my, um, my videos. I post some of my cooking videos on Pinterest. And not them showing up on Pinterest. Listen, I just be trying, when I remember, I tried to post it there, um, but I forget about it. And I've been trying to post on, not me, girl, I got, what, four platforms? Really five. And this, that, that's me adding two more. So I have Instagram, I have my, my brand, Adrian MG on Facebook, my personal, Adrian Brignac Gradney on Facebook, TikTok. YouTube shorts. Now I'm about to add Snapchat, uh, Spotlight. So go follow me there on Snapchat. Um, and then Pinterest when I can remember. But honestly, Pinterest and Snapchat is kind of like when I remember. I tried to upload a lot of my um, videos that I had saved to my phone. Huh? We, we made it. Yes, yes. Last night we made honey bun cakes. And um, for somebody. Yes, for Jalen, one of our friends from church. Got into a really bad accident. Um, really bad uh, accident at work. And uh, he ended up losing one of his limbs. And he's trying to learn how to navigate the new life. Um, healing his wounds and so all that, all those things. We love him to death. But um, I have been... Oh, my flowers. Let me just add some more water. I got these flowers, y'all. Mike, I did tell y'all. See how I go through five different subjects in one conversation? 
child. And it's 7 30. I got to, I'm sending a picture on the blog. I didn't brush my teeth yet. I gotta hurry up. My my flowers need some more water. My uncle brought me these flowers. I don't know if I showed y'all last vlog, but it was so sweet. He brought me flowers to my um speech last week. And it literally made my day because I told y'all this is not really my I gotta stop saying that because obviously every time I say that he does something thoughtful uh and romantic. He just doesn't do it as often as I would like, but he does it when it matters, so that's all that matters. Um the ribs. I'm gonna wash my hands too real quick. Oh child. I love you. You got your bed mate? Okay, good. But anyways, uh he's learning how to navigate his new life and um he is taking steps now with a walker and i'm so 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 proud of him so um i have been me been meaning to make him a honey bun cake for the past two weeks and michael had been wanting to take him out to go uh to get him out the house and go he michael trained him in coach uh coach trained him in track so uh he's really good friends of ours so and his mom i love his mom to death his mom and i go way back um way back to my first marriage we went to church together so we used to actually work out together uh, she was my biggest loser uh, person. I digress. That has nothing to do with what I'm trying to do these ribs. This marinade is so good. Um, you put it, you put this in the, uh, I'm going to have the recipe link down below, but you literally just kind of marinate it. You put it in the oven for two and a half hours, then you broil it, and it tastes like some oven baked, uh, -uh smoked ribs. They're so good. They're almost a little bit better than, better than the ones Micah make for me. I'm sorry that Micah cooks. Um... It cooks for me when y'all over here, y'all. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Some greens is cooking in, honey child. I know TMI. Sorry. I think I'll be getting a little bit too comfortable on this camera. Every time I say that, and I just do something else, and I'm like, "Girl, take that out." So people don't need to hear that. But uh, I it's when I cook clean ribs. I always take the back lining off. I've seen some people leave it on, but. Fun fact, my uh, ex-mother-in-law, which I still call her my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law is who taught me how to cook a lot of my food, and my ex-husband's grandmother, she worked at Piccadilly, and she taught me a lot of how to cook. At 20, I used to get married at 19, I think I had AJ at 20, and I married at 19, had AJ at 20, uh, girl, I didn't know how to cook. I didn't even know how to really wash clothes. My parents washed my clothes for me. I was really spoiled. I didn't know about that until it was time for me to be a domesticated wife. And I didn't know how to do this. I didn't know how to budget, spend my money, save money. I messed up my credit um, in college. I got a credit card with no job. My parents didn't tell me not to do that. So I was like, shoot. I remember my parents would give me $20 a week. That was my, I was living on campus and they gave me $20 a week. That was my allowance. And uh, I uh, that wasn't kicking it. So, girl, what did I do? I got a five hundred dollar limit on a credit card. Girl, I blew that in like two days. I bought all kind of clothes. Stuff I didn't know. Some stuff I didn't know. And my address was still at my parents' house. Nobody told me I had to pay that money back. I did not know. Jacked my credit up. Charged off the credit card. Got charged off. So when I got married, I had horrible credit. My mother-in-law got me to pay it all off. I mean, well, she, I settled for paying off, paying a fraction of it off. And I got my credit back, and I had a, I got him getting a, a secured credit card. That's why I teach a lot of classes. Uh, well, I don't, I like, I enjoy teaching classes to like young adults because my parents did a great job raising me. Loved them to death. They did the best that they could do, which I turned out just peachy fine. Um, but I didn't know about uh, credit cards and I'm not saying that had I known about that I wouldn't have done it I'm not saying that at all but um, oh I should have showed y'all that's the back lining that I've always peel off of my my ribs so I rinsed them off washed them off now let me dry my hands and dry pat these dry and put these on the um Oh, child. Put these here so I can marinate them really quickly. 
I'm going to take them like this and just pat them dry so the, the rub can stick to them. Honestly, the last time, last two times I made it, I just put the rub on it right before I, right before I baked them, and they were good. But because I know I have soccer practices, I think um, Nick has a, a, a track meet today, I think Mike is going to, so um, I haven't been able to make any of his uh, stuff because of the other kids' stuff. So he's been trying to be present with him and his stuff. So I really am just trying to cook to have something going when we get home. Okay, so I cook them on 275 for two and a half hours. So it takes, I'm sorry, three hours. I'm gonna hurry up and do this. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna have the recipe linked down below for y'all to make it. It's so good. So, oh, this recipe is enough for two slabs of ribs. Crap. Should I take another rib? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 divided by four people. That's what, two? Child, I don't know, but let me, I'm actually going to, um, oh, I need, I need to do two top of ribs. Let me take out another top of ribs. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make the marinade, season this one, do the other one, take the other one out. When I get off of work, I'm gonna do it and then, so one of them be marinade, one of them won't, but they'll still be good. So I'm gonna grab the other ribs, I'll be RB. a different shirt because I want my work shirt to work today but I have a stack high of boxes this is shoot oh, what's what's like get some definition in here shoot focus I have a stack of boxes I need to bring in the house so I got a lot of stuff that I need to my dad left his phone here I'm most excited about Factor. Today's sponsor, I wish. <laughs> Girl, listen, you gotta speak it. Speak into the atmosphere. Yeah, it ain't, the atmosphere ain't here yet, but I've been wanting to try Factor. I've been wanting to try Factor. So I'm excited to finally, finally try them. I pay for them with my own money. So no, it ain't sponsored. the uh the patio i think this is my other two cushions from the for the back it has to be it has to be because i didn't order nothing else that big and it's kind of light so it has to be the pillows for our big thingy and then all of it so we got we got some unboxings to do. And I brought some clothes from Amazon that I'm like trying to catch up on my content. I told you that before. I'm trying to catch up on my content um, for our trip. But we're going to do a first impression. We got a lot, girl. Shoot, this whole vlog might be just my lunch break in this morning because we got a lot. Let's do some unboxing. What is this from Target? I don't recall. This ring is so... Look at this. This is a little cubic zirconia ring I brought. Whenever I couldn't fit my other ring. So I think this is like in a size nine. And I didn't feel like wearing my other ring today. I got a wedgie. I didn't feel like wearing my other ring today. So I put that one on. So, but it's too big. Oh, oh, yay. 
I'm in my denim era. I forgot to order these. These are some. These are the denim army Hermes dupe from Target. Um, I got a denim trench coat from Target, and I'm a pair with these denim shoes. Oh, these are so cute. I love them so much. Look at how cute these are. Yay. These are eight and a half, so if I can find them online. What you mean if I find girl, I didn't got it online. It's got shipped to my house. I'll have these linked down below if you're interested in these. And I forgot. I have to start. Can you break down your boxes, please? My cousin's been fussing about all my packages that I've been getting. And me not breaking them down because they don't have any room in the trash cans. So I ain't gonna lie, I got a little lazy. I got a little lazy, but just to avoid an argument, child. I'm just going to do what my man asked me to do. What else is this? I got, oh, I want to try something with you guys too. I'm supposed to do a TikTok on it, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to just do it on my reel. Do it on my thing. Oh, this is for Akaya. These are some lashes for her. And this is a piece of clothing from Amazon. What? I don't know. I have to go back through my Amazon, like, uh, orders to see if you're seeing what I ordered, because... Some of the stuff be like super dark cheek. I get coupon codes um, emailed to me daily of stuff that's like on sale for like try-ons. I guess because I'm an influencer. I don't know. But um, so I order stuff. But I don't even know what I be ordering. Oh, this is a choking. So, okay. On TikTok, TikTok shall be getting me. They had like this thing of this teenager who was choking and his dad didn't know. He ended up passing out and like that he had this choking device. But on TikTok, the choking device was $65. If y'all didn't know, TikTok shop, some of the stuff be super cheap and some of the stuff be, they be, they, they be, they be, ooh, they be raping y'all out there. So I said, I carry my little frugal cheap behind onto Amazon and I found me a choking hazard little thingy because you know, we have Mala Malia. The boy who was on the ad was a teenager. And I was like, I watched the whole ad and I was like, oh, <gasps> Oh my God, what would I do? Cause I don't know. I took CPR, I was CPR certified maybe three years ago. I ain't CPR certified now. So let's just pray to God that never happens. But um, the dad did the high milk maneuver and it wouldn't come up. The mom was freaking out. The sister comes out and was like, what's wrong? She's like, go back to your room. He's okay. The dad like kept stepped in. He took this little device and he, and he choked he, and he was like, you're okay, you're okay. So that was scary, but I was like, if that ever happened, I don't know what I would do. I would literally solely depend on Micah to know how to know what to do with the girls. But they're always eating stuff here. If something was to happen, now I feel a little bit safer. I'll just pop this on, suction it out his out their mouth, and save their lives. Micah was like, well, I said, I said I wanted to buy it, but it was sixty dollars. And he was like, you gonna put a price tag on our daughter's life? No, I'm not. But I'm gonna be stop. I'm not gonna be stupid enough just to go buy it out of fear. So I found it on Amazon. I want to say I paid $30 for that one. I ended up using my credit card points, so I ended up getting it for free anyway. Um, oh, these are some pants that I might wear for Easter from Amazon. Let me look at this little thing real quick to try to uh, smell with y'all. Hold on. So I was going to do a review. I'm going to do a review on this factor too. I don't even know what I ordered. Okay, girl, let me hurry up. Listen, this is going to be a headache trying to edit i'm still behind another whole nother vlog that i haven't even started editing and i'm keep recording and i'm gonna mess around and forget my footage what goes with what date so let me let me hurry up this is a, a latafa this is fakara i don't know it had some really good high reviews on amazon so i was like cop that so i ordered this the same day i had ordered that yara and the other two perfumes by the way you can't return perfumes on amazon due to health reasons or something like that so I didn't even know that, but I didn't like the perfume so much so that I inboxed Amazon and was like, hey, I don't like this perfume. I want my money back. It was some kind of automatic thing. And it was like, sure, we'll give you your money back. I said, shoot, that was easier to said and done. Because there were some other perfumes I ordered and I couldn't return it. That's the only like downfall of my Amazon. Some of them I love, some of them I don't, but you can't return everything. So then I'm like, I'm stuck with some that I didn't pay $50 for and I don't even like it. Didn't know that. You can inbox them, get your money back. So... This is Latafa. Ooh, the bottle is giving so pretty. Look at that. This is girl who I follow on Instagram. 
Sharice TV. Her name is Abby. She does her main her main niche is perfumes, and she talked about this one and said how good it smelled. And I was like, I I brought it solely based off of her, off of her um let's say engagement off of her video. So I don't even know. I didn't even look at the notes. I don't even know what it smelled like. Child, let me see what's in this piece of paper because if it's something something not important, I'm about to use this as a spray. What is this? Oh, okay. Ciao. Let me pay that. I didn't realize that. First of all, let me not pay myself because I have a very high credit score. I'm a loan officer. But I, I paid this bill and they ended up sending me the check back. Said they couldn't find my no account for me. And I put the I put the check up and I never so I need to call. I need to call just urgent care. I let them know, hey, I paid this bill, but y'all sent it back to me talking about you couldn't find my account. And now that's a collection. Uh, baby, I cannot, let, I cannot let that get to my credit because who worked too hard for this for that credit? I need to bring this to my bring it back to work with me today. Okay, let me go. All right, so let's spray it on here and see first impressions. Oh. Okay, so I don't own a scent like this. This is like a powdery scent. I've always seen people people. Like talk about oh oh it's a powdery scent. This is a powdery scent. It does smell like baby powder, but I can tell I can smell the softness of it. This smells good. This smells good. Do I have any perfume on today? Did I put? Oh, I did. I put dip on perfume, but I sprayed on my clothes. So let me spray it here. This is a pretty big bottle too. On the website, I thought it was like those little small oil. You remember the Arabian oils I did a review on like maybe two years a year ago. I didn't like any of them. I sent them all back. I was able to return those. I don't know why. I guess it's something new lately that they said. That smells really good. Oh, I like this a lot. Pride of Latafa. That smells good. Now, what's the blasting powder? Power? I don't know. But it smells powdery. It's like a smell. Not old lady powder. Not old lady powdery. But I can say I don't own any other perfume that smells like this. This is good. I'll have this link down below too. If you don't need it, don't buy it. If you don't need it, don't buy it. Okay. Just put that disclaimer, just put that disclaimer out there. Says the girl who buys everything she doesn't need. All right. Let's do this really quick. And then I got to, I got to um, marinate some other ribs. And I'm going to put them in the oven now. So I'm going to work at 430. The ribs will be done. All I gotta do is kind of like just warm them up. They may still be warm by the time I get by the time I get home. Did I know that Factor is a branch off of HelloFresh? And y'all know I love me some HelloFresh. So I was like, oh, yes, HelloFresh meals without the HelloFresh work. Sign me up. Okay, what else did I get? Okay, so I got two of these: apple, ginger, lime, and Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. Not cognac, uh, some little wellness shots. So I got two of those. Those were free. Okay, so this is fresh, never frozen meals. Okay. What did I get? And I'm hungry too. I'm so hungry. Ooh, this looks good. This looks so good. It's like chicken, rice, and a salsa on top. I ordered this like two weeks ago. But I don't remember what I got. Oh, cilantro chicken. Shredded chicken taco bowl. This many meals? Vegan mushroom, marsala, Jamaican style chicken thighs, chicken alfredo pasta, and salmon piccata. I'm gonna do salmon piccata because I love chicken piccata so much. Ooh, this kind of looks this like this look good. I'm about to heat this up and we're gonna eat it. We're gonna get first impressions of eating it really quick together. And then I'm going, but in the meantime, I'm about to go season this, this, this ribs and I'll, I'll BRB, BRB. Oh, no, not me coming to sit down. I don't even have the plate to eat it. Okay. So I did not realize that this was cauliflower mash. I don't know how good that's going to be, but let me just say this. I will go dump that trash just now. And when I opened the door, I guess the wind did a wolf of the perfume. And I was like, oh. I'm happy. I'm happy with my purchase. I will not be returning. 
God is gracious, God is good. Let us thank you for our food. Amen. Bless to cook. I should hear my stomach growling right now. Oh, okay. I hate the lemon piccata. Broccoli? You can't really mess broccoli up. And it's supposed to be Parmesan broccoli. I like salt and pepper. But I'm okay with eating like this. I started doing factor because I well I'm gonna say started girl because listen <coughs> I'm gonna pause my subscription. <coughs> <coughs> I think there's seven meals only five days in a week. And I usually pretty much eat twice a day, yeah. sometimes once a day, depending on how big my meal is. I'll eat like a like this one I had a little oatmeal. I had two 40 ounces of water so far. I've been peeing like crazy. And it's 1.45. And now I'm like really hungry. So, uh, but usually like I'll eat like something heavy now. And I won't eat dinner. So this is not heavy. So I don't know if I'll be hungry tonight. But I got that okra and them ribs. I'm going to eat tonight though. Because our ribs are so good. Oh, dang. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is 60, 660 calories in this meal. 13 carbs, 35 grams of pro protein. That's kind of a lot of calories. Child, I mean, I say a lot because I will eat freaking Taco Bell, bean burrito, and nothing, something else. And that may be, I don't know how many calories that is. I don't count macros. Mm. Fun fact about me, I don't like I don't like mixing my food. Like like if I have a burger and a cheeseburger, a cheeseburger and a fry, I'm gonna eat all my fries and then I'm gonna eat my burger. I never eat my food together. That's why I'm still eating all my broccoli and I really hadn't even gotten to this yet. <laughs> One of my pieces of broccoli fell inside my fell inside the sauce. That's how that's how I could taste the lemon dill or whatever it is in the piccata. But I don't really like mixing my food. Oh my oven's running. So let's try the lemon, the salmon. Hot. Mm. It's not bad. And surprisingly, it does taste fresh. I don't know how, but it tastes like I just cooked this. Salmon is nice and tender. I'm not the hugest fan of the, the um, cauliflower mash. And I should have known that when I ordered this. Um, uh, it's not bad. I would order it again. I just can't say I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. The perfume is though. But it's not bad. I'm going to eat all of it. All 660 calories, I'm going to eat all of it. First impressions. For a TV dinner like tv like dinner i like it i'm happy with it so i'm gonna eat put the ribs on and head back to work i'm gonna talk to y'all a little later okay that's what's smart. all right here's the ribs how they came out i added some little barbecue sauce on it and then i brought them and then here is the okra that i made with the rice and two greedy teenage kids we're about to eat and call it a night you guys, say hello to my little friend. I almost wore a, pim a pimple patch just to um, to work today. I wore one last night and it still didn't go away. Um, let's pray real quick before I drop my other school. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, God, for watching over us on last night, God, and keeping us coming under your blood. Let us see and live to see another day, God. Watch over Mala and Malia and the, all the kids while they are away at school, Father God. Cover them with your blood. Protect them, Jesus, from any hurt, harm, bad, death, and evil, God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you let, bless them to be a light today, God, and help them to make better choices today, God, to not do things that they know they're not supposed to do. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you, God, for all that you've done. Please bring us all back home safely is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, headed to go drop my mind to school school, 
and then go to work work. I gotta drop BB too as well. I got school. Yeah. Cause if she miss school, I'm gonna go grab the gun. Bye baby. Bye. Wait, I'm about to get out. Oh yeah. yeah wait, till, wait till he gets you out. And then you can go. Have a good day. Good morning. Good morning. Bye, my Bye, both of you. Have a good day. Get your lunchbox. Yes, Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my baby. She's so precious, y'all. I love my baby so much. And, and I love Mala. I, I, I love Mala too. Y'all love both my babies. Um, we're headed to work, so I will talk to you guys in a bit. What's up, y'all? So, I came home on my lunch break, and this thing is so big. Like, anytime anybody talks to me, it's all they see. They're talking to me, they're looking right here. This. I just feel like it's so embarrassing to have all these freaking hormonal acnes that about to be darn near 40 years old this year. I'm thinking about changing my these patches out because maybe these hero patches ain't working these are the ones that i keep repurchasing the mighty patches and they usually work and it says gently absorbs pimple gunk in six to eight hours so i'm going to leave this on here for the rest of the afternoon i don't have any long closing so i'll be in my office but i think this looks a little bit better than having the pimple you know, and I said, I, I almost said this morning, I said, I almost, I almost went to work with this in my face, but you know, I just didn't want to because it looks unprofessional. Is that pimple on your face professional, ma'am? Hmm? Don't think so. So, I mean, it happens. I took some chicken out this morning for some, a Kaya's going to cook tonight, some chicken quesadillas. This morning, I had it in my head. Let's do another factor meal. Since we're home for lunch, I brought my factor meal to work with me. Um, and I just happened just to, I'm not really starving hungry, but I'm going to go ahead and eat. I don't even know what it is. I just pulled it out the other. This is the vegan mushroom masala. Let me poke, poke some holes in it. Is that what you're supposed to do? Cook on half for two minutes. Like it has asparagus. I like asparagus. Two minutes. While that cooks, I was supposed to do a, which I'm kind of happy I didn't do because of this. So maybe tomorrow is, is probably better for me. I want to record some spring try-ons, but like bare face like this, which I don't have to have makeup on. Um, I've seen some people just like hold the phone over their face and cover, you know, covers it covers their face and but it also gives you like the illusion to focus on the outfit, not the person's face. Um, but also can hide that I don't have my makeup on, which all I really have on is concealer. I was supposed to do it this morning, but I did not because I had promised one of my close friends, it's like a sister to me. Um, she had she had an idea or she sent me or I sent her I don't remember but it was some Easter shirts mommy and Minnie mommy and me Easter shirts and I was like oh my gosh I need this Amala Malia and so she was like yeah I'm, she was like I'll make them or she I don't know if she said she reached out to child I don't know we talk we talk almost every day so anyways I'm supposed to do these shirts since this past weekend take pictures with these shirts in this past weekend today's Tuesday and I still have not done it Easter is next weekend and she's a friend who likes to have a quick turnaround so I still like to say that I had promised that I would take these pictures and I didn't do it on my de on the deadline that I told her or that she told me she needed it. So I got the girls up this morning, did their hair, all their scalped, put on their necklaces, put them some clothes on. We took pictures. So I'll insert those pictures here um, in the office. Again, no makeup because who got time for that? But the shirts are so cute. And we're going to wear these probably next Saturday. Um, I just think these are so cute. She's so talented. I, I get all my stuff, even my... I'm trying to trying to get the BTL crop sweatshirts. She made those for me, but just trying to find a manufacturer to order the crop sweatshirts for. I just don't want to charge $50 for a crop sweatshirt. And for me to make a profit, her and her to make a profit, like a very small margin of a profit, that's how much it have to be. And I just don't feel comfortable charging that. Like, 
because I think about it, would I pay fifty dollars for a crop sweatshirt? No, I wouldn't. Um, so if I wouldn't pay it, I wouldn't ask y'all to pay it. So there's that. And then the ones that I did get wasn't the one I have. Have I have one with hoodie and one without a hoodie. The one, the my most recent one that she made, I absolutely love it. But that sweatshirt came from Target. And then she just pressed it for me with my logo on it. But the um, just just the sweatshirts, just the sweatshirts is $20. Um, and that's just a plain sweatshirt. That's not including her time, my me, my fee. Like, it's not including anything. So, and for her to buy the, the transfers, all of that stuff. And then you guys know I include shipping on my website. So, I would have to increase. I would have to include that. Yeah, so there's that. We got, okay. We got some uh, PR. It's not done, it's still frozen. And I kind of have an idea what it is. And listen. Listen, Linda. Anytime I get a PR from Fleur, my day has been made. And when I saw this was the person and I think this is actually from the brand. Usually they send it, they send the PR from another place called the center. And like if I if it's, from, if it's from the center, then I know that it's from either Talter or Fleur. But this is from Fleur. And I'm so excited. Everything that have sent me, I have absolutely loved. The last one was the strawberry one, which I have not worn that. I have not worn that scent yet. Y'all, some of my perfumes. I be getting these perfumes. I don't need to buy another, I don't need to buy another bottle of perfume. I know. I don't need to buy another product. I don't need to buy another bottle of perfume, Adrian. Um, because that Cosmic, I don't even know where it's at. I have not worn it yet. I wore that white one that I showed you guys yesterday. Um, at this present time, I would buy at your own risk. I think it smells phenomenal. It smells so good, like so good. I yesterday I think I put on here five hours to wear. I that's cap. I say maybe two or three hours to wear. Like it evaporates so fast. Like, and I put some lotion on before I put it, put it on this morning. I smell very like the lightest hint of it. It, it for, but twenty three dollars, you really can't. I really can't complain. But it's like one of their body sprays. Like it has the power of a body spray. So you know, do with that as you wish. It smells really good. Fleur. I think this is their missing person body oil, and I'm almost out of that perfume. So I need some more perfume. They sent me some more perfume! Yes! This is the body oil. So I have, fun fact, I tried the travel size of this from Sephora because people were talking about missing person, missing person, missing person. And I'm like, I want to try it. So I ordered this like last year. It smells so good. So then I was like, I want the body wash. I want the body spray. I'm, I mean, I want the body, I want everything. So I ended up reaching out to them and telling them how much I loved it. They sent me the whole, <clears throat> the whole thing, the body wash, the body lotion, the body little oil thingy, the travel, the travel size of another spray. They sent me like the whole thing. And I was just like, whoa. And now we're almost a year later. I didn't use her all up. So I am so excited they sent me another body, another body spray. This stuff, wait. See, I have another one in this packaging, the black. I think this is the roll. I don't like the roll. Is this the roll? This is the roll. I don't like the roll. I don't like the roll. I haven't, I already have this. I really wanted the spray, <clears throat> but this missing person smells so good, y'all. It smells so good, but I'm so excited to have the body oil. And then you're gonna lay, girl, what? I'm gonna take this on vacation with me. It's more of a winter-ish, colder months, because it's so, it's a deep, musky smell, but it smells so good. Missing person is my jam. I love it so much. I think I've got maybe one compliment on it. It's not like a huge compliment getter for me, or on me, but I smell it on myself all the time. I and I, I be complimenting, I be complimenting myself. Girl, you smell good today. Girl, you smell good today. You smell good today. You yeah. know. But this is so exciting. What a while has been launched out since, I, since. Oh, this was our first fragrance. I did not know that. And it only been out for two years to celebrate their second anniversary. 
of the brand, we developed a whole new category category of body oil. When I tell you it's Lux, I mean it. It slides beautiful onto the skin, absorbs quickly without leaving a heavy residue. Two things that are two things that are a non-negotiable. It goes without saying that I owe all of you who share Fleur experiences with the world to a big thank you. We couldn't do it without your love and support and can't wait to share all of the things we have on schedule for this year. Yes. This smells oh, I didn't know I did not know Fleur was man owned. I guess it is. Oh, here's the notes. So it's a floral musk. Top notes is skin musk, bergamot. Anything with bergamot. Okay. Bergamot, jasmine. The middle notes are neroli, blossom, orange flower, and something fresh cyclamen. Base notes is sandalwood, new white musk. I, almost all of these notes I, I like. Anything with bergamot, I like. I like sandalwood. I like musk. I like um, Norali Blossom and Orange. I think those two were in Flower Bomb. And it just smelled good. Now I'm smelling this food. So I'm so excited. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. When I reach out to them, I really want this missing person. And for whatever reason, they keep me on the PR list. So we love that for me and for y'all. But. We're gonna try this factor again. I ended up um, canceling the subscription and it really wasn't the easiest to do. So I was, it was kind of a turn off for me. Um, I was trying to go, I, so I didn't really want to cancel it. I was trying to pause it because it said I had to pick up, pick out my new, um, my new options by tomorrow. And I'm like, girl, I just got delivered yesterday and I'm not gonna eat all seven of these by the, you know, by the end of the week. So um, I went, I want to go pause it until we got back from vacation. But there was no way to pause it. Like, there was no, like, not on the app or else I couldn't find it. So I had to chat with somebody to do it. And then that took forever for an agent to get on the line to cancel the chat, to, to do the chat. It was just, like, HelloFresh was easy. I can start, stop my subscription anytime. Um, this one was just a little bit more worked behind it. Okay, this this rice. Let me show y'all what I'm eating. This is what the masala is. Masala, whatever you want to call it. And then green beans. So we're gonna do a little taste test real quick and try it out. Um, this is—I thought it was rice. It's risotto. Mm. If I had to rate it, I would give it probably a four out of ten. Not my best. It's not seasoned. Not very flavorful. It tastes healthy. Mmm. It's only four hundred calories. That's why. I like mushrooms though. So that's not bad. Oh, that's my son calling me. All right, y'all. It's been an afternoon for me. I am um. Akaya's cooking chicken quesadillas tonight. I think I told y'all that earlier when I was on my lunch break. I am about to head to go to the car wash because baby child, funny child, little, little child. My car is a filthy dirty. Yes, I went to work with this. My windows are still down. Yes, I went to work with this on my face. Yes, I did. Um, I didn't have any, any clients and no closings this afternoon. So it was just my coworkers. And she was talking about me today. She was like, oh, that one's talking to me. I said, what? I said, you ain't talking about my pimple issue. <laughs> but that's the that's the fun part of our friendship. Uh, what was I about to say? I'm going to the car wash, then gonna pick the girls up. My mom said that, the, that Mala fell asleep. Y'all, so Mala said a cuss word. I don't know if I told y'all. I know I didn't tell y'all, because I didn't even tell my own kids. But I'm telling the internet, <sighs> Lord. Um, and this has never happened before, ever. Y'all know, we just talked about this in the last vlog. I said, Mama, did you hear me cuss? And I don't know if it's because she's hearing it at school, the other kids cussing, but like, we don't curse in our household. Um, we don't use profanity, period. And, but Mala is around it because we still do watch, I like, they call it Ratchet TV. I like watching like Housewives of Atlanta, loving hip hop Atlanta, but I don't really watch it when they're around. So like I usually will watch it on my lunch break 
now typically I miss the whole last couple of seasons because I've been so busy with this YouTube I don't have the free time I had before I don't have the time to read books I don't which I'm gonna read a book on my cruise I don't have time to read the books I don't have time like all of my downtime is me working the editing recording feel like it's all this so I like watching that stuff but I can't tell you like I haven't I didn't watch the last season of Housewives I was so proud of myself that I spent four hours which I felt a little bit guilty but I spent four hours watching Love is, Love is Blind. <coughs> four hours watching Love is Blind. They ain't even got the pods yet. The reunion didn't already came on. So, Arab, I'm a spoiler alert has already, you know, kind of ruined some of the stuff. But, like, I don't, I don't have me time. Like, I don't have me time. I digress. So, I say that to say that I'm, that I know she's heard it on our TV because Michael, Michael and I watch movies and stuff like that that says cuss words they know what a cuss word is and then she used the big one she used the big f she used the big big so when the teacher emailed me what do i do mama bear oh no she didn't you must have hurt somebody else that was not my child <laughs> so embarrassing so embarrassing sis for you to think that your child could never hi good how are you uh please select one of the following options Give me a twenty dollar wash. I'm gonna go big today. Please insert cash, pay with credit card, with or card. one of our other additional options. I hope the rain is done. Your payment no. is being processed. Oh, no. Thank you. Anyway. Thank you for your yeah. purchase. <laughs> Thank you. No you, you too. Um. Uh, so, anyways, that was just like a. Uh, I'm talking to this man with a big pimple patch on my face. So anyways, I was at mom and Michael was like, and I really was like, I know Mala did not. I know she did not. I did not raise my child like that. She had to hurt somebody else do it. Baby, when I asked Mala about it, Mala said, yes, ma'am. Admitted to it. Yes, ma'am. No lie. Yes, ma'am. I said, why you said that, Mala? She said, because my friends made me mad. Excuse me? So we cuss now when someone makes you mad. What? Huh? I didn't whoop her because this was the first time she's ever done that. Um, honestly, I can tell that's why I whoop my kids. I do whoop my kids, but I don't like whoop them very often. They gotta, they gotta do something. Real. I'm a gentle parent. Uh, we've already discussed this. I'm a gentle parent. Micah, but surprisingly, he got to her before I did, and he said that he told her the same thing. He said he just told her don't say that no more, and you know that was it. I told her, I told her I was gonna wash her mouth out with soap if she ever said a cuss word. Cause I'm making eat that soap. Not really, y'all. But, um, yeah, so I'm just like, you know, because some parents, they think that's cute. Like, oh, my child cut the kid out. That's not, that's not cute. Like, for me, it's unattractive to, for a girl to have a potty mouth, cussing every other word that's just not attractive to me. Smoking is not attractive to me. Not saying that I want to be attracted to another woman, but I'm just saying, when I see a girl smoke, I'm just like... Smoking, vaping, hookah, hookah, like all that stuff to me is just something you'll never catch me doing. That's just me. I'm not knocking anybody else who does that. I can only speak for me and myself and I. Have I smoked in my life? Yes, I have. I've smoking weed before. That's weird, huh? I did a little poof poof pass before. I think I was in what, ninth, tenth grade? I felt absolutely nothing. And I'm and I'm always been scared of like lung cancer. They always drilled in your head like uh, dare, don't do drugs. Um, but uh, yes, I have smoked before. Drinking? Yes, I have drank several times. Several times. Um, and here I lately I was a social drinker, but um, I can't tell you last time I had a drink. I can't tell you last time I had a drink. It's been some years. But um, not like an alcoholic person. I just I would just drink social like if I went out. If I wanted to drink or whatever. And I'm not knocking anybody who does that. I'm just saying, speaking from my, from me, Adrian. I'm not trying to come across as this goody two shoes or nothing like that. I'm just telling you guys my take on that. Um, so, yeah. There's that. I am going to go pick up Mala and Malia. Actually, I need to, I need to uh, go ahead and vacuum this car out real quick. And then I'm going to get my girls. I'm going my tail home. I'm going to work, I'm going to work, work on editing, go and work. Um, so yeah, let me go vacuum this car out and I'm going to talk to y'all a little later.
Yeah, I'm about to do my video. Thank you. Hey y'all, it's the end of the day. I'm home. It's currently 7 30. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Yes. Maybe she can be tired, you know. And I am about to end this end this vlog here. <laughs> I forgot what I gotta say. I forgot what I gotta say. Y'all, I'm about see. to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. And subscribe to Mommy's channel and love her. And and get a thumbs up. Thumbs up too. Like, how are we supposed to do it? Uh, like that. Heart. Oh, there goes our heart. No. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>